Hi everybody, welcome to Accessorize Your Life. I'm Julia. I'll be looking back at June's Shop My Stash and putting on a few items from the trade that I used throughout the month of June. Well, as I prep my face, I'm going to let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in to Accessorize Your Life for those 30 videos I did during the month of June. Yes, 30 videos straight through and you guys were so supportive and I couldn't have done it without you. I appreciate you tuning in, your comments, your likes. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I took this journey filming each and every day without really planning anything. I just started to film. I don't know where it came from. I just went on this journey of filming. There was no plan. But as I look down at my uh, little calendar where I write down some videos that are scheduled and things like that, I see an interesting quote and it says here, an interesting journey never follows a straight path. That was by Marhan Vandebelt. And it's so true because out of filming every day for the month of June came Sample Sunday, a new subscription box, which is Bean Box. Although, you know, she's going to hold back on it for a while, she might come back with it and I will be happy to review it. I also receive uh, PR from iMethod Beauty, really nice, and friend mail. But most of all, I learned the products that were in my Shop My Stash tray. And I got to play around in some of my Dior palettes more. So that in itself was wonderful. It was so great to just do those things this month and learn more about the things I have here. I did acquire a few new products, but I mainly stuck with, with what was in my tray. So you see me using the Viseart palette here, the Bijouette, and I'm using the Real Technique brushes. The tools of the trade make the difference. Get to know the tools you have and I think you will enjoy using them more and more. For instance, I've learned that the little packer brush and a shader brush make a world of difference when applying eyeshadows. The smaller they are for hooded eyes, the better your eyeshadow goes on. And this palette, I have to say, is really easy to use. Now, I get intimidated by color, and I was intim intimidated initially by this palette with all those colors. I just didn't know what to do. So you saw one of the videos where I just said, let's put on the bottom row, just go straight across. And I did, and from that, I really relaxed with color. And it made me appreciate the palette even more. I saw where the satins went on so smoothly, the shimmers didn't have any fallout, the mattes were intense, and my eyelids received the color so well. The fine lines didn't look as old <laughs> and crepey. And the colors really popped the eyes. So it was fun using the Viseart palette and getting to know my tools a lot better. Now my other palettes, I played in those as well. The Natasha Denona palette was wonderful. The BH Cosmetic Pearl palette, oh, beautiful. And the, I think it was the Topes, is it, by Juvia's Place? Oh, I adore that palette because that was definitely taking me out of my comfort zone because it was such a cool palette. And I'm used to warm colors, warm browns, warm taupes, not cool taupes and browns. So I really enjoyed it. Look at the color. That fuchsia is a satin and it's on the inner lid and in, in the crease and inner corner. Whereas that purple is a shimmer, and I used it in the outer corner and in the crease as well. It works. Just have to keep blending. So I'm going to say bye to the Vizier palette for now. It was well loved and well used. It has uh, a few dents in it and it's quite dusty right now. So away it goes. 
and here you see I'm pulling out the Eye Method Beauty Eyeliner Stamp. There's three steps to this. You first have to prep your eyes, so you prime them in powder, whatever you do. You know, I've done that before I put on my eyeshadow. And then you just use the stamp to give yourself a wing, and then you line your eyes. It's so easy. Now there is a 12 month shelf life on these um, eyeliners and stamps. They're not tested on animals, and they say, and most importantly, that you need to store these horizontally. And please don't store them near heat or sunlight. And I think you'll get great use out of them. They're easy to use, they're quick. And for hooded eyes, like I said, it is miraculous. I'm so pleased to have received these products from iMethod Beauty. And here, I swear, this is the last time I'm using the Badass Mascara from Tom Ford. And my foundations, the Clinique, and this one here, which is a tinted sunscreen by Kinlo, really nice. But today I'm going to use the, I think it's the Lux, Winky Lux tinted sunscreen. And it goes on so easily and it's a great color. It's a deep plus. And I think it has SPF of 30. And look at the blendability. I'm using a Morphe brush there. And I love that brush. I went back for another one and couldn't find it. But I do know there's a Morphe store at our mall. So I'm going to look for it there. I don't like ordering from their site because it takes super long. So I'm going to say bye to Winky Lux. And there's the, the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And I'm using the brown to just line the lower lid there. But that palette can be used day to day. It can be used as an accessory palette. It's just so useful. If you don't have it, getting something like it, if not the actual palette, it's a good idea. It's wonderful for trips and to use daily. Now I'm going in with that blush and it is pigmented. Really pigmented. See? Look at that. But you haven't seen anything until you see me put on the highlighter. The glow from that highlighter is killer. It's like killer watts. <laughs> Here I go. Look at, watch, just watch it. When it catches the light, whew, I'm tempted to keep that palette out just for that highlighter. And now I'm going in a product that was new to me and I added it to my tray. It's from Shantaka Kai. It's their bomb and I have it in sunflower. I just like it. I like it because I wear a mask and it just gives me a little color. I know it doesn't stay on all day, but it does moisturize the lips. So I find it's great for when you have these intense colors, you have a neutral lip, an easy lip. So I think I'll be saying bye to it, although I don't want to. And there you go, guys. That's a look from my June Shop My Stash and the items I used quite a bit. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Accessorize Your Life, please do and hit the like button. And again, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Stay well, and I love you for watching. Bye-bye.